What do I do if I fall for a straight girl who I've had multiple sexual encounters with? Wow. Hey guys, it's Haley Kyoko here with L.com. I am going to be giving personal dating advice to my fans because, you know, I have the advice. Gabby has asked, I met a girl at your concert and we're going on a date in July, but I've never been on a legitimate date. We're going to see a movie, so not much talking. And I was wondering the easiest way to start a conversation after. Thank you. Heart, heart. I think seeing a movie is an excellent choice. And then after the film, you guys can talk about the movie, your favorite scenes, your favorite part. You should probably uh, buy her, you know, some, some candy, maybe some, um, you know, sour patches. And um, you guys can like talk about your favorite flavors. <laughs> this is why I'm single. <laughs> <Okay>. Next. <laughs> what do I do if I fall for a straight girl who I've had multiple sexual encounters with? I fall for straight women all the time and have sexual encounters with them all the time. You continue to have them until uh, there's that moment where you realize that it's never gonna go anywhere and then you have to have respect for yourself and walk away because you deserve to be with someone who is willing and open to being open about who they love and willing to go the extra mile. That just got really serious, sorry. Carrie Lee asked, what should you do if you want to swipe right on a girl on a dating app when you know her as friends and are afraid of making it awkward. That is awkward. I would not swipe. <laughs> I would totally abort. I, yeah, yeah, unless there's like a connection in real life. It just, I don't know, I just feel like they're not gonna be into that. You need to, you need to just like flirt in person and not just swipe the person. But what do I know, you know? I'm, not, I'm never on like online date. I'm like, I don't even know which way to swipe. Okay, how do you feel about straight girls that lead gay girls on and then say that they're not into girls, they just have flirtatious personalities? I feel like they're very confused. That's how I feel about the situation. I've fallen for multiple straight girls that definitely lead me on and say they just flirt with all of their friends. That is incorrect and they definitely like me. So I wouldn't waste your time on those people because those types of people are too afraid or um, are not ready to uh, admit their feelings. And that's just gonna be emotionally draining and exhausting for you. Trust me, I've been drained, I've been exhausted, and it just ends with you blocking them on Instagram. So there's that or writing songs about them, one of the two. Any songs specifically? You know, Curious, What I Need, He'll Never Love You. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Hey, Haley, I'm so confused. I still love my ex. She's all cute with me, but always tells me that it's over. We still act like a couple. It's not easy for me to move on. What should I do? You need space, Marie. You need space. You can't move on from someone if you're hanging out with them and they're still in your life. Um, you can totally be in love with someone, you can care about someone and not be right for that person or have them not be right for you. And there's no way to move on unless you allow yourself space to move on. Tammy has asked, would you ever date a fan? You know, sky's the limit. So very open to all possibilities. Hope that answers your question. Well, I hope I gave some mediocre to decent advice and I wish you all the best in the dating world and field. Thanks for hanging out with me and make sure to subscribe to Elle's YouTube channel somewhere down here. Thanks guys, see you later, bye.